Hi, this is Craig Stocks with Craig Stocks Arts, and I want to talk briefly about color management, and in particular some of the oddities of using device profiles or custom uh, profiles with your monitor if you're using a Windows-based PC. One of the things that most people don't realize is that Windows, even though it records the default profile to be used with a monitor, doesn't actually use that profile itself. What it does is inform programs that are color management aware that if you're going to use a profile, this is the default profile that's been defined on the system. And one way to really see how that works is to lo look at what happens visually if we use a very bad profile so that we can see exactly where the profile is being applied and where it's not. Now, if this doesn't make sense to you, then you've probably jumped into color management a little bit too far and need to back up to some of the basic tutorials about color management and how to use a device such as the Color Monkey, which is the one I use. I uh, don't like the name, but it's an excellent uh, spectrophotometer. Uh, it's from x which is one of the leaders, if not the leader, in color management and uh, color managed workflows. And It's a device that lets you uh, calibrate and then create a custom device profile for monitors, printers, projectors, so that you get the same predictable color on all devices. The trick is that with a Windows-based PC, some programs may use the profile, some programs may not, and it's hard to tell for sure if you're seeing the colors as presented through that custom profile. So let's do a little exploring, and I've got Photoshop open here, and what I've already done is create a junk profile by using the Assign Profile dialog within Photoshop to create a profile that gives me really bad colors. That way it'll be very obvious when we start to use it. Now if I go into the control panel, so let's, this is on a Vista machine, so if I go to control panel and on this PC I'll have to choose personalization and then display settings and on my display settings I'll have to go to advanced settings and then from advanced settings there's a tab for color management and then choose color management again and this will bring up a dialog box where I can choose which profile to assign as the default profile. Now normally when you use a device such as the color monkey or the uh, uh, any of the, the color emitters or spectrophotometers this happens for you automatically, so you don't normally need to look at this. But in this case, if I choose my monitor that we're currently looking at, you can see that I've got this uh, laptop. This is the name I gave it. On uh, August 31st of 2010, I created this, this ICM uh, profile to use as the default profile for this monitor. Well, let's change it to this junk profile, and I'll make that junk profile available for download from my website if you'd like to try this yourself. But by setting it that as my default profile, you'll notice first of all nothing changed on the screen. Let me close this. We'll say OK and OK, and I'll just park this down at the bottom. And even though I've got a junk profile now defined as my default profile, nothing really changed until Photoshop re-rendered and now it re-rendered using that junk profile and you can see the colors in this this landscape picture all of a sudden now look very basically the green and magenta are reversed so it looks really ugly but it's very obvious now that the Photoshop is using that profile one thing that's particularly interesting to note is that my wallpaper is not using that profile so Windows itself isn't applying the profile. So in where that really becomes important is if you profile your monitor and then immediately look at a picture on your desktop or a wallpaper or using a program other than Photoshop or Lightroom or something that is color managed, you may not see, in fact you probably will not see, the colors as defined through that custom profile. So you have to be sure that you use a program like Photoshop to judge the quality of that profile when you're looking at the picture on your screen. Just as a point of reference, 
if we look at some of the other tools within Photoshop, for instance the liquify filter, and we can see that the liquify filter is rendering using that same profile, so that's a good thing. Uh, if we do select color range, another and again it appears to be using that same junk profile that we just defined. And let me close this. Let's try Lightroom. Now one thing about Lightroom, uh, it only picks up the default profile when you load the program. And again we can see Lightroom is rendering using that profile. So that confirms that Lightroom is a color aware or color managed program. And the last thing we might do is just go to my wallpaper folder here and just double click on it to open it. And looking at it here in the photo gallery viewer, again, we see that it's being displayed using that profile. However, if I look at the same picture in Internet Explorer, and it opened on the other screen, I'll drag it over here, it's not color managed. So Internet Explorer and likewise Safari and most web browsers are not color aware and you can't judge the colors that you see in a web browser and trust that it's using the profile that you've created to go with your monitor. That's really the lesson I wanted to convey here. The moral of the story is be sure if you're judging how well your your device created a profile be sure you're looking at it using a program that is color aware and that you're using that profile so that you you know you're comparing apples and apples. Uh, when you're done playing around with this junk profile in order to put everything back all we need to do is go back to personalization which I got from the control panel go to display settings and we'll choose advanced settings and color management tab and click on color management here and go to my monitor one and we'll go back to the original laptop profile set that as the default profile and close everything and now if I open Photoshop you can see we're back to the proper colors. So that's the lesson. If you have any questions, feel free to drop me a line to Craig at CraigStocksArts.com. And again, if you're interested in playing with this junk profile, I will post a copy of it on the tutorials page of my website. Thanks, and have a nice day.